We have a statistic in our film that we're going to have to change that says that only four women have ever been nominated for um, an Academy Award for directing. You know, which means that every single year, more men are nominated than women who have ever been nominated. Um, which is pretty crazy given the fact that, I mean, in our film we interview so many incredible women directors who have made so many incredible films and you just think, well, all of those have been ignored by the Academy. Um, so I'm thrilled for Greta Gerwig and I loved Lady Bird. So hopefully it's a, you know, it signals change. Awards, they're subjective and, you know, many of the greatest films ever made didn't get, you know, didn't win for best film. Um, so they're subjective and you, I don't think, you know, you can put too much emphasis on it, but yeah, I mean, young filmmakers coming up, young girls watching the show, even to have the camera cut to Greta Gerwig as a nominee for best director, you know, that's really significant. Yeah, I think it's important that you know that you're playing a game you can win, and yeah. you know, there hasn't been a lot of evidence of that. I, mean, I think it's a powerful moment in our film is when you just look at the Google search results for film director and scroll through and scroll through and scroll through, and you know, you're five or six pages in before you see a female face, and that's not okay. I hope our film can be like some small step in kind of raising awareness among the people who do, um, you know, kind of control the, the content that, that we all see. I think that's part of it. We've met so many people here at the festival and so many organizations and that I think ultimately the institutional se sexism is going to die a death of a thousand cuts. It's not going to be one magic bullet that kills it all, but it's that, you know, there's hundreds of people working on so many fronts that I think, you know, it will be a slog, but we'll get there. Anyone who feels outside of the Hollywood system, that they just continue to feel fired up to tell their stories despite all the roadblocks and obstacles. And I think we're really feeling that at this moment, that like all of these groups are feeling mobilized and gaining confidence and resisting and persevering to get to that next level. And I think for a long time, it's been um, very discouraging. And just kind of the community among these different groups has helped people to just, you know, remain motivated to tell their own stories.